We are just a week away from the basketball tournament, TBT, coming to Louisville, one of the sites that will host at Freedom Hall, and the Ville team getting together for the first time and really putting in their final work as they get ready for this event. Rick, what can we expect? Yeah, I'm pumped for this. I asked Coach Mark Lieberman for a starting lineup. He gave me Peyton Siva, Russ Smith, Kyle Keurig, Shane Bahannon, and Shinano Onuaku. Uh, I think it's a very solid Louisville team. Can they win six in a row? I don't know. They should be able to win the first one against a group of former Auburn guys. But it's fun in the summer. To, to, these are guys we didn't think we'd ever get to see play again. Yeah. They're going to be back here in town. And the basketball tournament is re different from regular basketball in that as soon as the clock stops in the final four minutes, whatever the lead score is, you add eight points to it, and whichever team gets to that number first wins the game. It's called the Elam effect. Got to get to the got to get to the number. And Mark Lieberman talked about not only just getting to see these guys play again, but play again when they're all still playing pretty well. Most of them have been playing overseas, uh, have still been playing on a, on a pretty regular basis. So it should be some pretty good basketball. Yeah, I mean, Russ Smith, I've talked to him several times, Tom. He's come off really at one of his best professional years over in Italy. Kyle Keurig has been a high performer over uh, in Europe really for the decade since he's been gone from Louisville. And Shinano Anawaku has been very good uh, overseas. The two guys I wonder about is Shane Bahannon, who admitted he's playing his way back into shape, and Peyton Siva sat out this year. But as you mentioned, they have Chris Dow, they have Dylan Hebert, they have Rakeem Buckles. Uh, they did lose Earl Clark today, so that hurts them inside. But... Uh, it's a good group of guys, and I think it'll be a good turnout. Should be lots of fun next Tuesday. It gets going at Freedom Hall. Rick continues to write about it on WDRB.com. Just click on sports. Thank you, Rick. Thank you.